Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. Are you ready to rumble? I'm not ready. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. We've got some special guests coming up today. Yes, we do. Very excited. We have lots of questions for them. Well, we'll get into that a little bit more later. But first, I always ask Bobby a question to get to know him better. And I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days. What am I going to ask Bobby? If you were in a contest and you could pick any vehicle, you wouldn't have to pay insurance. It's yours free and clear. What would you get? Oh, if I could, if I could choose any car. Yeah, but it had to be a car. Like not win the lottery where you could choose what to buy. It has to be a vehicle. It'd be a Can Am side by side. I love Can Ams. Um, I have this Can Am four wheeler right what now. What is a Can Am? A Can Am is a um, a side by side. It's like a four wheeler, but it has the two seats and a steering wheel type situation. My uncle has one, and it's so beautiful. I would love to have that. And you know that's crazy because I could choose like a F. 250. Yeah, you could choose a truck. You a could choose uh, a Lamborghini. I mean, you could cho choose one of those old Rolls Royce ghosts. I mean, anything. Oh, God. And you're choosing Ooh, a you can the ghosts, am. man. Those are cool. Yeah, can ams are cool. No, I'm talking about the ghosts. Oh, the ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that like one's awesome. All silver and super rad. Like, yeah. just old school. And you'd have to have someone drive you. I'd have to have someone drive yeah. me. I'd be like, drive me because I'm riding in the back of this bitch. Uh, not only that, I think they were kind of complicated to drive back then. Yeah. You know, they had that stick shift with like the lever on it and uh -huh. stuff. Like, I don't know if it was in the floor on the tree on the yeah. steering wheel. I don't, I don't know. know either. I probably I'm would have I'm going to have to look time. up a photo of that. But okay, what so. What would you do in your Can Am? In my Can Am, yeah. I take it camping. Would you like four wheel it? Would oh, yeah. you like yeah. tip it over? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> They're kind of expensive. I know people that have tipped their side by sides. Yeah. They're yeah. crazy. Yeah. How much does a new side by side cost? Like uh, for what you're talking the, about? Uh, uh, somewhere around 20. Man, so you're a I cheap go, date. Yeah, I know, right? So I should go for the McLaren, yeah. Yeah, McLaren would be cool. With the gold wings. It's some kind of kick-ass door, you know? Yeah. I've always wanted one of those cars where the door opens you up crazy. You get a crazy. DeLorean from Back to the Future with the flux capacitor Oh, no the way. <laughs> and no then way. you could actually travel time, too. I've seen those things. They're really not that special. No, and I heard they were big pieces of crap. Yeah. Like, they were lemons. There's a documentary about that on Netflix right now. I haven't had a chance to watch that, but... My son looks like Dr. Emmett Brown off of... Um, he does. His hair looks crazy. <laughs> he came in and I was like, were you struck by lightning or what, dude? <laughs> like, his hair is so wiry right now because he's bleached it so much that he... he we actually had a conversation about how he looked like Emmett Brown. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, he did. He looks like a crazy mad scientist. He does. Well, that's actually a pretty good answer. I feel like I know you a little better now. Yeah, the Can-Am side-by-side in yellow. Me and Bobby were on the news. Yeah, we are week. getting famous, kids, and it's because of you. For the Art Walk. We had... We had so much fun at the Art Walk, and we ran into the guy from Three Wheel Bicycle, and they're going to be a guest on our show next, next week. Next week, yeah. So that's super cool. Mm -hmm. I made the news twice. I made Oil he City did. news. Oil City and K2. And K2 news. Bobby's just walking around. I He's everywhere. everywhere. Everywhere, interacting with everybody, buying stuff from the Naughty Gnome Lady. Yeah. She was fun. Oh, my gosh. She is fun. I um, saw a little video. Naughty Gnome. Yeah, G-N-O-M-E. And I think her Facebook page is Moms, Quirks, and Crafts. Or yes, it is. Like Moms, Quirks, and Crafts. Yeah, she was super cute. And super nice. Yeah, and her stuff was super fun. Naughty gnomes are kind of cool. They are neat. They are cool. So uh, I get a foul. <laughs> and today I didn't put my ringer off. <laughs> but I have something really cool. On the Instagram, I got a DM from this guy called Motor Joe. Motor Joe. And it's spelled G I E A U X. Like Geo. Like all French and stuff. Spell it again. How do you? G I E A U X. G I E A U X. Funny story is, though, he, he messages me and he says, I'm excited. This is driving me nuts. 
Bob, did you used to work at the East Side Walmart here in like 2007? And I said, he sure did. And he said, I knew he looked familiar. I worked in the meat department back then and he was my manager for a while. Needless to say, he was one of the coolest guys there. Love the show, guys. Oh and then my God. I said, thanks. And I said, well, what's your real name? You know, so that I can see if Bobby knows you. And he says, leave it at Geo Motor. But he said, back then, I think I was going by Joey. Joey. Do you know Joey from the meat department at Walmart? God, Do you remember that was him? such a long time ago. 2007, 14 years. Yeah. That ain't no joke. Wow. There's random people Thanks, that know Joe. you and recognize your voice. That's crazy. How nuts is that? That's super fucking cool. That's what that is. I thought is. it was awesome. I was, and I was like, man, I'm going to shout you out. Is that cool? He's like, yeah. So if you guys want... You know, you can always follow one of Bobby's former co-workers. Yeah. And he's got a pretty cool feed. It's Motor Joe, G-I-E-A-U-X. It's like French, but yeah, he listens to the show. I'll follow you, Joe. Random Hell listeners. Yeah. We love random listeners that just get a hold of us and we're like, whoa. Right. Like Blast from at, the past. at your birthday party. Amanda, she's like, oh, you guys are so funny. And I was like, hi, I don't even know who you yeah, are. She had no idea who you were. And I was yeah. like, Bobby, this is Amanda. And she's like, is it Bob from Bob and Ray? And I was yeah. like, yeah. And she's like, I feel like I already know you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I guess when they're traveling or whatever, they just put it on mm -hmm. put, and stream it and listen to it in the truck. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. We really do love you guys. And we love interacting with you guys and having fun. And we love the messages. Like, they make our day. They definitely. Absolutely. So, you guys, if you want to send us messages, you know where to get a hold of us. It's our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Gmail at... Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. And you can get a hold of us anytime. And I mean, watch us anytime or listen to us anytime. That's right. But get a hold of us and you can send us random shit like that. I mean, oh, it literally wow. that doesn't have to be so anything special. That's freaking cool. Just... That makes my heart swell. I know. He totally was like, it's driving me nuts. I know this guy. Wow. And you did work at Walmart in 2007. Oh, yeah. So he's got to know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah. He's got a better memory than you. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> He's got a better memory than you. Oh my God, that is so cool! I would love to see a picture of him. So we would we'll just look like it up during slap, the break. Yeah, slap we'll me back his, to reality. Uh, we'll look up his handle during the break. But before we do break, I want to let everybody know that Art in the Park is coming up October second. This is something that I've been working Mark your on. calendars. And it's super important for the Casper Art community here in town. I mean, local vendors, local music, food trucks. There's art demos. There's art raffles going on. It's family friendly it'll be at mike cedar park on october 2nd 10 to 4 but i'm also doing a fundraiser so if you feel like you could give 10 bucks or 20 bucks uh go to my t hawk studio facebook page i shared it on the bob and ray donate what you can and for every 10 dollars, you get an entry to win a piece of artwork of mine Oh, awesome. Yeah, I've got to raise money for the bands. That's what I'm in charge of. And I didn't realize how big of a job it was, but I should have after realizing how difficult it is to do a podcast, what live music probably entails. Oh, so yeah. I'm getting an education and I have to raise like 1500 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's no small amount of money. So if you guys, you could do 10 bucks at a time, 20 bucks at a time, five. I mean, whatever you can donate. Awesome. So, so donate, it. kids. Yeah. Or just if show If you can, up. or just show up and spend your 10 bucks and try to get a piece of Rachel's art. You want to take a quick little breaky break? Um, or you have some shout outs to do too? I want to say thank you, Travis, from Atlas Cabinetry. Cabinet Shop. Cabinet Shop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, say Cabinetry. Is, say Atlas Cabinet Shop. Atlas Cabinet Shop. There you go. Bobby got a tour. I did. It's a cool shop. Um, all custom made. It's so wonderful. And him and Ian surprised me last Sunday on my birthday. Thank you, Travis. With a cool little, it was a table and I didn't have any idea I was going to get it. Yeah, but trying to get something past Rachel is like terrible. I it's called tough. Ian and she answered the phone and she's like, why are you calling? And I'm like, uh, wrong number. And she's like, no, it's not. I'm like, ah, <laughs> this is getting difficult for me. <laughs> if it wasn't for that phone call at that time, you w I would have never known. Yeah. It's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. But 
hey, we got it. We got away with it. Hey, and it's sleek and it fits my little mid-century modern theme and it goes with my couch and I love it. It's beautiful. I love it. So thanks, Travis. That's my shout out. Yeah, thank you, Travis. Even though I had nothing to do with it, I just get to enjoy it. Thank you, Connie. And Wes is off on an adventure for three months. So. But they hosted us kind of for the art walk. Yeah, they hosted us for the art so walk multiple times. So a... that's my thank you, Connie. Yeah, shout out to Glow at Neon Lights. Go yes. check out her shop. It's down there across from Yellowstone Garage by the A1 Tire. Yeah. If you haven't been in, it says Motel Office. Yeah, it does. Right neon, right in the front. Everything's neon. I guess that's about it. Let's take a break real quick. We'll be back in a ticket, a ticket, a ticket time. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, God, Gary, you scared the shit out of me, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, guys. We're back. And our guests are here. Met either one of them before. Neither have I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourselves. I am Chuck the Adventurous Steel. And I'm Biker Bob Eldridge. And he never fails, forgets his name every single time we're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> every single Your time. Your name? I just want to say Biker Bob. I don't want to say the entire thing. So we yeah. got two Bobs in the yeah. studio yeah. today. Is your first name Robert? Is yes. it really Robert? Do you yeah. like that name? I grew up being Bobby. Yeah. I worked at Kelly Walsh High School uh -huh. as a custodian, and the kids call me Biker Bob. And that's oh. where I got the name. That's cool. That's super that's cool. Awesome. You look more like a Bob than a Bobby. Yeah. To me. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the biker effect. It is the you biker know? effect, definitely. Well, I have a question for you guys because you have your own, it's a YouTube. Right? Yes, yes. And you guys go across Wyoming and you're looking for history. Right? Yeah. So I want to know who's the most interesting person you've ever met. I bet you guys have met some interesting folks on your travels. Oh, my entire life? That's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I always come up with the hard ones. Uh, I've met some very, very interesting people and very colorful people throughout my travels in life. I think if we narrow this down so far, one of the most informative, really, really interesting people that we have got to talk to, his name is Mark up in Hartville. I would agree. Bob's with shaking that. his oh, head. Oh man, that guy is nothing but a plethora of knowledge. So you, what's he like? Very laid back, very cool. So do you like pull up into an old little cabin or is he like on Main Street, like the guy in Jeffrey City? So when we went up to Hartville and did that episode, we actually had it set up. We interviewed Mr. Uh, Ron Martinez first. And then while we were talking to him, one of his friends just randomly showed up, uh, Mr. Larry Soto. And he, both of those two gentlemen, was they they had nonstop knowledge. It was really cool to listen to. They grew up down there in, in that area in a town called Sunrise, which is about a mile away from Hartville. And where the mine was, yeah. It was a big iron ore mine. Started out to be gold mine, and that didn't really uh, pan yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Strike! Oh. So what kind of things did you learn from him? Well, I remember him, uh, all of them telling us that uh, there were a lot of Greek people down there and Italians. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mark's grandfather came from Italy, and I believe he was a sheep herder. Yes. And, but when he came here, he was a blacksmith. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what because, he said. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. when they came over, they had to they had to hurry up and, and create like, some sort of background. Um, or, yeah, yeah. Um, like a skill or whatever. Yeah, yeah a skill that they could a contribute skill, yeah. to America, I guess. So yeah. yeah, so they could get citizenship. Right. In a sense. So. But he yeah. made. I remember he, he made like four dollars and twenty five cents a day. So he was the highest paid in, at the mine. That's wow. Four dollars and twenty-five cents a day. Yeah. God, inflation's a bitch. Isn't it though? <laughs> oh no. And for just four dollars and twenty-five cents a day, you can support Chuck and Bobby on yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Cue I the song. It. Cue <laughs> the song. I love Don't it. do the song. <laughs> we do the same thing on our show. Yeah. Like, yeah. Buy t-shirts, buy stickers. We don't care. Just do it. Just oh, yeah. buy. Just give. buy. Give till it hurts. <laughs> I think it's really cool that in Casper that we have so many different people that are out there like doing things that they love, but at the same time like educating the public. But I 
I like where you guys come from because we actually have a lot of bikers on our show. Oh yeah. It's oh, a yeah. big culture here in Casper. Mm-hmm. Like and people take it seriously. Oh yeah. When Justin and Penny were on, they're like, We have this page, but if you're not a real biker, we don't let you become a member. Like it is You so have to real. show a picture of your bike and everything There's just rules. to get on the page. Yeah. Yeah. I know Justin and Penny. Justin and Penny? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize that you know them right from the start. No, they were awesome. They were awesome to have on our show. They were good. You know, I, I've been told before that I'm not a real biker, and I just say, you're right. Okay, why? why? Because I don't fit that class. Not that that's a bad class of people. I know a lot of them, and I love them all. Do you yeah. I'm not a biker. A I am an adventurist. Oh. He's got a different take on See, it. See, I love that, though. Yeah. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. That's a cool and now you know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where that came from? I said, now you know where that yeah, came from. Yeah, now I know. I That's cool. It. I love that. I love that. Do you guys only do Wyoming or do you go other places too? Right now we're only doing Wyoming because we fund this out of our own pocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially right now it is really difficult to fund anything out of your own pocket. Yeah, Tell me about I mean, it. you can't even go to the damn dollar store without going broke, so. I know, right? <laughs> I know. I just want some soup. I know. <laughs> I'm asking them how much a pack of hot dogs yeah. is. <laughs> how much is this? A dollar? I've got some change in my car. Can you yeah. give me five minutes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You sticky penny. <laughs> Don't ask why it's sticky either. <laughs> I got some questions. I know you got some questions. Okay. okay. He's got questions. Would you guys rather be famous and ridiculed or just a normal person? I believe that famous people are just regular people. They put their pants on the same way. Mm-hmm. But True. they, uh, but would I? I think you'd be a, a normal person and still be ridiculed. Yeah, exactly, right? So why not be famous and ridiculed, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, well, Maybe you get like more money. Overnight, your YouTube channel blew up, and you had like a hundred thousand followers, and everywhere you went in Wyoming, they knew who you were. Like, but they're like, "Oh, that's Bob and Chuck." <laughs> they're gonna ask for more money from us. Yeah, yeah they're gonna ask for more money. Will you sponsor us, please? That's yeah, not to say that. that we haven't had the naysayers, and that's fine. I mean, you can't satisfy everybody. When I started this, we started this, I should say. Sorry, Bobby. I'm... No, no, you, you, you're you, the one that asked me to join in. I love adventure. I love travel. That's what I want to do. I mean, if we become famous, great. If we don't become famous, great. Whatever. I don't care. I don't need to be an A-lister. I think I'm already want... famous and ridiculed. <laughs> <laughs> I have, you know... I, I won't have... go into that story, but yeah, I really think it. <laughs> I, I agree, because I have my own fame and, and backstory and you know some of it yeah so. <laughs> yeah <laughs> the thing is if you're doing what you love and you feel like you're contributing in a positive way who cares what other people think right? exactly right uh, we're just we're having a lot of fun doing this and we get to bring education i mean people are starting to recognize us the town of hartville wrote an article about us in their paper Cool. Uh, over Labor Day weekend, they invited us to come up there for their Labor Day picnic. So I went. Unfortunately, Biker Bob was a little under the weather that day. Brown bottle flu? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually my under the weather. <laughs> <laughs> wrong Bobby. Yeah, wrong Bobby. <laughs> wrong Bob. Yeah. We're just actually traveling pretty fast. I uh, talked to a guy on one of our social media platforms from Tennessee and he said you need you guys need to get down here. Oh so, wow. Yeah. Tennessee's cool. I lived there for a while. There's a lot of history down there too. Oh my so god, yeah. At some point we want to expand and be able to get out of Wyoming I and mean, there's a lot in Wyoming that we still need to cover. Right. Because I mean I had a meeting the other day with a guy who is a Wyoming historian and he told me some things I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even know about. Really? So he gave me some information to do some research, get on his web page, and start calling people. I love that. I love that. I love that you're go getters, where Doors. you guys do some research and like find out where you want to go or what's interesting, and then you make it a whole thing. Doors are opening, man. It's the way it should happen, right? I'm already famous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, like I told Chuck once, <clears throat> we could sit there and we could we could talk about doing this. Or we could do it and say, and if we succeed, we succeed. If we don't, we can say we tried. That's how this whole thing with yeah. Ray and I started. You're just hanging out with a friend anyway, and right. there's really no downside to that. 
Right. All we're doing is just recording it and let other people listen. <laughs> Sometimes I think they wonder why. I know, right? <laughs> They're like, you people are wasting your time. <laughs> Would you guys rather know the history of every object that you've touched? Or would you rather be able to see the future of the object when you touched it? The history. I believe the history because the future of an object always doesn't go well. I had a friend that come over to my house and we were in one of the sheds. My grandmother had some old hats there. And so she picked them up and she was looking at them and she started crying. I go, what's wrong? And she goes, think about the people that wore this hat. Oh, wow. So True. Yeah. Ooh, so the history could be like you never rough. know. You never yeah. know what it an object's be been through in its life. It can go, and, it can know, go a lot of different somebody, directions. You never know. Yeah. Did you do history or future? Um, history, history too. Yeah. It'd be cool to see. I like that. antiques and stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm oh, like yeah. antique stores. I just love that smell. That old, it's like old musty, musty smell. In a good way. Not like old. Not mold. Or pee. Or pee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or old musty pee. <laughs> or old musty pee. Hopefully not that kind of musty pee. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but Bobby's face is bright red. Because he brought a couch home that smelled of musty pee. Yes. Maybe cat pee. Yeah, cat pee. Maybe, sure. she says. Uh, oh my gosh. You'd be history. Everybody be history then. Everybody? I figured, yeah. Yeah. The future, I mean... What good's that do to you? Well, and you don't really know the context. Like, exactly. in the past, you can figure out the context of what's going on if you could, like, see what the object was going through when you held it. But in the future, you wouldn't have any context. No. So it'd be kind of confusing. You'd be like, and where what, is this yeah, and what is this? What would you and... really get from it? Because Not... you wouldn't know anything else around it that existed. Yeah. You know what I mean? So history would probably be the way I would go. Yeah, definitely. Would you rather die in 20 years with no regrets or die in 50 years with a ton of regrets. I regret nothing, really, honestly. I have regrets, so I mean, You'd there's be times. You'd 50 years. Yeah. You'd be 100 years old. I don't want to live to be 100. Good God. <laughs> you would. No. Still doing your podcast? Yeah. Oh, welcome. <laughs> yeah. Screaming on it because you can't hear yeah. yourself. Yeah. I said. <laughs> I said and repeating the same story. <laughs> and welcome to Bob and Ray. <laughs> Ray's been in the grave for a few years now. <laughs> Still remember it like it was yesterday. I wondered why nobody showed up to your, your podcast. It's because everybody's dead. Everybody's <laughs> dead, right. Or you just years. forgot to book them. Yeah. yeah. Or it's, I'm not even on a microphone. I'm just like, hey, welcome to Bob and Ray. I'm just sitting in a garage <laughs> screaming. It's not even his garage. Just, <laughs> the family's in their house just scared. <laughs> I was Do gonna, I have I was, pants on? I was going to go out there and tell him to go home, and it smelled like old musty pee. <laughs> <laughs> There's an antique in the garage. <laughs> See, you guys were meant for this show. Yeah. Before. I'd probably go for the 20 years thing. No regrets. Even if you did go 50 years and you had regrets, that still means you did stuff that you probably didn't know you should do, but you did it anyway. Right. That's what, I mean, just don't regret what you've done. I mean, try not to do things that wouldn't, you, you would in from the future it. regret. You learn right. from it. Yeah. yeah. You move on. Yeah. Everything's a lesson. Sure is, isn't it? <laughs> it's hard for me. <laughs> 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 right. Now I'm really getting called out. <laughs> it's all good. We'll probably edit some of that out. <laughs> do you have another would you rather? No, but I'm looking on this list and it says strange and macabre. That R at the end always throws me off. What's one of the strangest things you guys have come upon, object-wise, since we just said? You know, if you could know the history of an object, which object have you been around that you wish you knew the history of or could see it? We uh, went out to do, and, and I'm not going to go into detail on this one because it never aired for certain reasons, but we went out and tried to do an episode at a place, and when we were coming back, there was this mound of rocks clear out in this field that had an entryway in it and a satellite dish. And so I had Bobby pull over and I walked as close to it as I could, but there was a fence and I didn't really feel like getting shot that day. Yeah. Probably but well. I mean, you could tell that it was man-made. It was made out of them just big flat rocks and you could, like I said, crawl into it big enough for at least one person. And it had a, it, it had a satellite dish, like a TV satellite dish on it. 
Was it that's military? out in the middle of nowhere. Probably yeah, that, military. No, or I don't. I think military would have more than just like flat rocks around it. Well, dude, what if they're trying to be incognito? Oh, okay. Because With a Dish Network satellite. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get the game while I'm out here. <laughs> no doubt. Was it Dish Network? Like it was one of those Dish small Network. ones, or was it like one of those like 1980s? <laughs> no, it was. It was just a little one. small one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe they thought nobody would notice. I don't know. Maybe the camouflage paint came off. Maybe somebody <laughs> died and they buried him there, and they're like, they wanted TV. <laughs> <laughs> You know? So what did you guys find out about it? Nothing? Nothing. Couldn't that's find it. out anything, yeah. yeah. It's just the mystery of it all. Wow, that's crazy. What about you, Bobby? Well, um, it's not really a tangible object, but you could go inside of it. It was uh, the knuckle dime horseshoe bar. Oh, yeah, the dime horseshoe bar. Dime horseshoe bar, yeah. I just saw Sunday. something, yeah. What's the Dime Horseshoe Bar? A bar from the, what did she say, 1920s, 1930s? Older than that, Older yeah. than that. Older than that? In Butch the, Cassidy times. Yeah. Oh, shit. And at yeah. one time, it was the morgue. Yeah. Oh. And that's in Sundance, Wyoming. And now it's a bar? And they do these bar, burnouts. Yeah. They do, like, burnouts there. Like, you know, like burnouts. Yeah, yeah. I know what a burnout is. <laughs> yeah, check your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Too. Not skin marks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's not the old hippies either. It's, you know, uh, but it was pretty cool. I like that episode. Yeah, that episode totally. I mean, I, I like the way it turned out. She was, was easy to interview too. Oh, Jackie's way cool. Yeah, but uh, she, that Bobby caught me completely off guard because we hadn't even set anything up. He's like, "Go get her, set her down, talk to her." I'm like, "Yes, yeah, sir." Yeah. So cracking the whip. Yeah. And uh, it, it did. It turned out really well. And I wish I would have asked a couple of different questions and, and reacted a little bit different when she said it was a morgue and all I did was go super nerd. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> that was it. That's all I said. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. That's really going to work. Well, that was our first one, too. Yeah. Oh, was your first? Your very first? Yeah. yeah. Our first. We'll have to post a link to that. Yeah. Like, just post a link. Post a link to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all of them. Post a link to the Hartville one too. That's you can our... share your guys' commercial today. Uh, that's yeah. what he told me. Yes. Yeah. Well, then I found out it was made six months ago. <laughs> I'm like, this is brand new. We're always on the time. <laughs> Chuck ribbed me about that too. It's like, oh, like always. <laughs> yep. We're yep. Always a little bit. Behind. He's like, I love your new commercial. I'm like, are you talking about the one that I just made where we're riding on the dirt road in the mountain? And I was like, He's I like, don't remember what? that. What? And he showed me. I'm like, dude, that was made four months ago. <laughs> well, that was in the spring, dude. Get with the program, Bobby. But you can catch up with these guys at 307 Back Roads Backer, yeah. Back Road Bikers. You can catch up with us at 307 Back Roads Back Road Bikers. <laughs> at Gmail, Facebook, Instagram, all the same? Yeah. Hey. And you know, if you guys did something like uh, videotape to yourselves mm -hmm. doing this, uh, and you get was a thousand followers and a four thousand. No, it's a thousand. It's a thousand. I think it's a thousand hours of watch time. Every week? No, no. Oh, just total. Oh, up yeah. until a certain yeah. point. Yeah. So yeah, once right. once you get that many watched, and I don't know then, how many followers, then what they will do is they'll start paying you. YouTube will start ads. paying. Yeah. Yeah. So I watched this guy that he lives in Pennsylvania. His name's Taco Stacks, and he picks up uh, metal and stuff that he can sell. He nice. just drives around during garbage days. Oh, yeah. And he has like 20,000 views. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and he, and they're in a short period of time. So at three cents a view, that could be four or 500 bucks a day. Well, yeah, if you were getting like a thousand views a day. Even more than that, that's pretty cool. Right. Yeah. Well, we need to get on that. We have quite a few hours watched. We got a lot of hours watched. But not a lot of viewers. They're the same viewers over, over and over. over. Yeah. Which is awesome. We love all it's of me. you. It's <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just... Take out my headphones and go do something. <laughs> he's, 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 he's got a bunch. He's got got a bunch of ghost accounts set up. Yeah, exactly click, click, click. right. Exactly. He's got a bot phone in the garage. A home. bot phone. Yeah, all it does is listen to our podcast over and over. Some people, what they do is they they go and they find people in India, and they pay them. Well, they do it. They do it in a certain way to where they 
watch your videos mm-hmm. and they oh, wow. subscribe to it. They're like fake followers. Yeah. Like oh, fake wow. Followers. Yeah. yeah. So then you get to the followers up and then they watch the video and then go from there. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of work. It does. I don't know. <laughs> I don't it sounds like that. fraud. It does sound like <laughs> fraud. I want real listeners where you know where they go to Art Walk and they're like, "Hey, yeah, right, you're yeah. Bob and Ray." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's super fun. And then you make the news twice in a week. Two times in one week. Yeah. You did. I only made it once. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't like that picture. It's unflattering. <laughs> <laughs> My hair was done that day. Okay? That's asking a lot, and it was done. Speaking of which, Bobby and I were doing some setup stuff, trying to record a video, like it for an opening, and we were downtown by the spiral staircase, and oh, I did yeah, this yeah. really cool snapshot of both of us. Uh huh. And uh, I thought it turned out really great, and then of course he's sitting there looking at it, and he's like, "Oh my god!" And I'm like, "What?" And he goes, "I can't even put my pants on the right way. Look at my shoe." <laughs> Like one sh- one pant leg was down doing? over his shoe, the other one was kind of up and <laughs> almost looking. Well, at least it wasn't on <laughs> Not how that <laughs> got <laughs> started. Yeah, that's me. I'll be, I'll be all over town all day and be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, why, why did they come? <laughs> why is everybody looking at me so weird? Yeah. Get home and I'm like, oh shit, my fly's down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm touching my nipples. <laughs> I was waving with 11 That's fingers. How it got <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 how I broke into the industry. Trivia. Oh, you know, you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, they kind of seem confident. Yeah, I think Bob's going to kill it. You never know because I'll tell you what, this guy pulls the weirdest shit. Uh, the question book. Check, check. Okay, guys, we're back. I got Bob with me, and he's gonna do a little trivia. It's only five questions, though. All right, I'm ready. Okay, it's time for How Dumb Are Your Friends? <laughs> How fast can a roadrunner run? 30 miles an hour. Which scientist came up with the equation E equals MC squared? Einstein. This slow mover lets moss grow on its fur. What is it? It's a turtle. Never met a tortoise with fur, but... Grow on a fur? Yeah, grow on its fur. I would say it's a sloth then. Which children's classic by J.M. Barry features a boy who won't grow up. Peter Pan. Approximately how many dead skin cells fall off of you every minute? 10,000. And that's that. See, that was pretty easy. How dumb are our friends? I am horribly dumb. Okay. I am no good at trivia. How fast can a roadrunner run? 63 miles an hour. Which scientist came up with the equation E equals MC squared? Einstein. Which slow mover lets moss grow on its fur? Sloth. Which children's classic by J.M. Barry features a boy who won't grow up? I'd like to phone a friend. You can't phone a friend. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I know the I know the story. I can't think of the title though. Okay. Approximately how many dead cell dead skin cells fall off your body every minute? Three hundred. Well, that was easy, huh? No. You did pretty good. <laughs> you did pretty good. Bob did good too. Rachel. Sorry See, about your good. ear li- drums, there, yeah. listeners. Sorry, listener. Here comes the power of positivity. Yeah, exactly. All right, hit me with your questions. Okay, how fast can a roadrunner run? 65 miles an hour. Which scientist came up with the equation E equals MC squared? Einstein. Which slow mover lets moss grow on its fur? On its fur? Mm hmm. Well, that's not a snail. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No idea? No idea. Which children's classic 
by J.M. Barry features a boy who won't grow up. Peter Pan. Approximately how many dead skin cells fall off your body every minute? 10,000. All right, guys. Is that Boy, it? you a snake? That's it. Nice. That's it. Yeah. All right, we're going through the answers now? Yeah. A roadrunner can run approximately 20 miles an hour. So 65, holy fuck. <laughs> That's one fast ass goddamn. I was thinking of the cartoon. I it know. It's just to take off beep beep. Doom and just tear out, but it's only 20 miles an hour. But for a small bird, that's pretty quick. It's pretty fast. Uh, Bob said 30, Chuck said 63, and you said 65. Which scientist? E equals MC squared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Einstein, Einstein, Einstein. Everybody got that one. This slow mover lets moss grow on its fur. It's a three-toed sloth. That's Bob right. said tortoise, and I was like, yeah, tor last tortoise I've seen with fur. A turtle can grow moss on it, though. Oh, it could. But it doesn't have fur. But it doesn't have fur. It doesn't. You guys both got it right? Yeah. You just said he said turtle. No, well, the first time, until he heard oh. me say fur. Okay. I'll give it to you guys. Okay, <laughs> just this once. Which children's <laughs> classic by J.M. Barry? Everybody had to get this. Peter Pan. Everybody knows. No. Wow. Chuck didn't know. Chuck, what were you thinking? I know, he, he's no. like, I heard of a book. It's called Everybody Poops. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody poops. Okay. Approximately how many dead skin cells fall off your body every minute? 30,000. 30,000 dead skin cells. You got your skin all over me. <laughs> I just shook off about five. On but, yeah, I just got five. You were closest, though. So, I mean, you and Bob, because both of you said 10,000, so. Well, that doesn't count. That Chuck said 300. I'm yep. an idiot, don't Bob don't does listen to me. <laughs> I'm an idiot, don't listen. <laughs> hey, that means the friends got a point, and the they friends. needed that point. So, Bob, you just helped out all of our dumb friends. You just helped all our dumb friends out. <laughs> we appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, actually, we don't, but I'm sure our friends do, because Michaela just said, step it up, friends, and we had one that stepped it yeah. up. Yeah. Bob came in. He did. With Bob, some knowledge there. Bob helped his dumb friend out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's now 8 no. to 11. I'm not real smart. Oh I can lift gosh. heavy things. Oh, they're catching up to they're us. 8 up. to 11. We've got, eight, we've got 11. But now so, it's time for Bobby's jingle. Ding, 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 bong, bong. I have a bitch. I have a bitch. <laughs> Why? Because. Everything's uh, a bitch. Everything's a bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you guys got bitches? I got a bitch. Uh. <laughs> uh, you mean complaints, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I know that you have a bitch. But, well, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> okay. Bob's like, uh, going the wrong way. Whoa, whoa, going the wrong whoa. Way here, man. Yeah, pull on those reins. Pull on those reins. What's your bitch? Because we know you are a bitch. The, the cost of medication. It's outrageous. Did it go up again? Yeah, it's always Jesus. going up. It never goes down. Well, it did for a minute. But I just think that my endocrinologist just likes to write prescriptions for me out of the blue. He's just like, hey, how about you go buy this? You know what I mean? <laughs> then you get there and they're like, $300. That will be $300. I'll, I'll be like, can you put that back? I'll pick that up next time. <laughs> like never. He, want, he wrote me this pen, like one of those EpiPens, because I'm diabetic. If I go too low... And I shoot myself with this pen and it raises whatever. Right. But I'm never low. I'm like, I have orange juice at home. I don't need to pay $700. I almost shit myself in line. I'm like, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> She's like, that'll be 700 and some odd dollars. And I'm like, no, it won't. He's like, that depends. Do you have any? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need some depends right now. <laughs> I thought <laughs> you had prescription right? strength. <laughs> Bring on the duct tape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm leaking. I thought I thought you would get that that phone number from that one commercial, where they call up and they go, "Well, it's going to be this much," and then they, they oh oh that yeah. that that commercial. I know what you're talking about. And then he's like, "No," showing everybody the yeah. phone app or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't have that? No. I have that. That's how I was able to get my son's acne medication. Are Otherwise, you serious? I did the same thing. They're like, it'll be $422. And I was like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> He's going to have to suffer with acne for a little while. Man. No doubt. But no then doubt. I got that good RX thing in it. Good RX. It down yeah. to 30 bucks. 
Really? And if GoodRx wants to sponsor this, they're more than welcome to. Yes. I love the way Bob thinks, We man. would take your money. We'd split it down the middle. Yeah. Right. Do you guys have a bitch? A biker without a bitch? That's crazy. I know. How about other drivers that want to run you off the road? Have you ever had I that incident? That ever well, yeah. I mean, you'll, you'll have that. My biggest complaint is uh, getting clouded by diesel pickups. Oh, oh shit! I never thought because they think they're funny. Mm -hmm. Or they're is going that to pass, and then it just like they smoke too when you hit the gas on those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if they're trying to pass somebody, you guys are always on that side where the muffler is anyway. So it would totally black smoke you. Oh my god! I never thought about never that. Thought it about usually that happens either. when I'm sitting waiting for the light to change, and I'm just oh. at that that spot. That's not cool. That's not That's cool. That's not cool. They and then as soon better. as the light changes, it's burp. There was a funny video though, like some hookers walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. And they're all, do you smoke? And she's like, yeah. yeah. And she's running up to the truck and they're like, that, Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. That they chick asked her if she smoked. smoked. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I do. And she was hoping crack. <laughs> and she, she's like, I smoke crack. Now she smoked black. Yeah. <laughs> I spit on her eyeball. So how did you guys come up with Back Road Bikers? You heard our story. After we got laid off in uh, April of 2020, that's when everything tanked. I was sitting there and I'm like, mm, just watching TV. Well, I was watching actually one of my favorite shows with Josh Gates, Destination Unknown. And if they want to sponsor us too, we will. <laughs> I love Destination. the way Bob jo thinks. I absolutely Destination Unknown. I was sitting there thinking, how cool would that be to be able to do that? And then the light bulb went on. I mean, it flickered a couple of times first, and then I tightened it. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> and so I got to thinking, I'm like, well, shit, why can't I do that? So I text Bobby my idea. I'm like, I said, you like to ride, and I like to ride. You like history, and I like history. Let's do this. And I explained it to him. And then all of a sudden he just called me. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> the light bulb went off. Like a Baptist, yeah. like a Baptist preacher. Like, oh my God, son. <laughs> just, just freaking out over it. <laughs> so that's, that's how it came to be and put it together. And we both knew we were going to Sturgis because we literally had nothing else to do because we were jobless losers. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. So with a whole bunch of other people in the state. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much everyone. Yeah, yeah, ours was similar. I mean, we were just like rapping and they were like, hey, you know what? We should invite some other people. But we had the same thought as you guys. Like we can sit here and plan and plan and plan and plan and plan. But instead of that, why don't we just start doing, doing it? Doing, yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to get anywhere if you don't take that first step. And I think a lot of people get stuck on that first step because Fear. it's hard to set smaller goals. They're thinking about bigger goals. They're thinking about 100,000 followers on YouTube or some shit. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, they want it to happen overnight and there's right. no such thing. Oh, no. I've always believed that success hides on the other side of fear. Mm -hmm. You oh. have to get past that fear and just break down those walls and just go do it. What do you got to lose? I love that. I love that quote, though. I'm going to give you the clap. <laughs> Bobby work. gave me the clap. Yeah. Come uh, to Bob and Ray. We'll give you the clap. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a real boy now. <laughs> I don't think I've got a complaint. No, not at all. We actually love that here on Bob and Ray. Right. Oh, because they forced one out of me, and then they're just like, oh, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. But you're a real boy now. <laughs> but you're a real boy. Because I have the clap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. Oh, boy. Well, do you guys oh, boy. Tell, us, tell our listeners where they can get a hold of you. What are your handles again? So, three, 307 Backroad Bikers can be found on Facebook. Instagram and YouTube right now. Those are our three main platforms and I'm working on some other angles as well. And, we'll post uh, those once they're ready to go. Okay. But you got a Gmail too. So you guys, it's we do 307 it. Back Road Bikers. So basically you can find it, them at all the places you, you can, can find, find us. us. Yeah. 307 Back Road Bikers. Or Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. <laughs> Not that Bobby, this Bobby. We need to come up with a nickname like Bob One and Bob Two. It's How about like Biker one Bob. And... How about Biker Bob? Biker yeah. Bob and Bob. Or Brock. Brock. We can yeah. call you Brock while he's yeah. on the show. Okay. For sure. I'll be Brock. He's Brock too. <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday brunch with Brock and Rick. <laughs> I love saying that. It just makes it just fun. Uh, what in the hell? Hey, yeah, it's a dog. 
I got excited for a minute because something cold and wet was touching me. <laughs> My hands are right here. They, they were the whole time. <laughs> I thought Biker you were patting me on the back for a minute. Biker, like, Biker Bob's badass. He's not getting fresh, though. It, no. His hands were on the table. <laughs> like, he like knew how, that was like going to happen. He, he had to hurry up and clarify that. He's like, it wasn't me. <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> He gave me the clap, and I gave him the business. So. <laughs> oh, shit's going down. Oh, God. oh, my God. I haven't blushed this much in years. <laughs> it's so rosy in the cheeks right now. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> and with that. It just won't end. It just won't end. We're going to clap our way yeah. out here. Yay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming Love you guys. Down. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray.